To open the Voyager flight tube, you'll need to remove all the cables that are above the four hex head Allen screws that you'll remove from the source housing. Make sure that you remove all cables and that nothing is attached above the lift point. You'll also have to remove the DE switch box cover to remove the high voltage cable going to the grid and you'll also have to remove the cable going to the grid power supply that's attached to the white Teflon piece. Make sure that all cables are removed prior to lifting the flight tube. To remove the power going to the stepper motor at the attenuator, be very careful. Do not grab a hold of the wires, but only hold on to the plastic part. Make sure that you remove the wires from the glass ion gauge. Make sure all the wires above the hex heads are removed, including any wires attached to the opto trigger board as shown here. the light bulb power supply. You'll also need to remove any cables that are attached to the detector. Also make sure that the power and the cables going to the top part of the laser are removed. You'll have to loosen the shipping bracket that is normally secured before the Voyager is shipped as shown here using the 3 16th T-handled Allen wrench. Now use the 3 16th T-handled Allen wrench to remove the four hex head screws securing the flight tube to the source chamber. The red high voltage wire that's shown right near that cable will also need to be removed from the power supply and from the DE switch box. That part is not shown in this video. This is the most difficult screw to remove. You will need the 3 16th T-handled Allen wrench to make this job easy. Reach around with your other hand to remove the screw so that you do not drop it. Those two hex screws shown here are going to attach above right there when you lift the flight tube to secure the flight tube. You'll also need to vent the system before you're able to open up. The newer style have this type valve, the old style have a screw valve. Make sure not to damage or completely remove that valve. Now just lift up on the flight tube. Be very careful that everything's out of the way and that you don't damage anything. It's best to have a second person to help you with this process. You can see how the flight tube is secured here. Now if you have a plate that is dropped off in the sample chamber, you can remove it now. Try not to touch anything with your bare hands but the sample plate. And that's